Hello everyone, this is Annabella. This week, let's do a relationship reading for Abhishek Mahan and Manisha Rani again. I have a few viewers who continue to have great interest in this couple. It has also been three months already. It's long enough to circle back to them. This time, however, I will do a different spread. This one will peek into his and her feelings as well as one more card that summarizes their current relationship. Please let me know if you all enjoy this spread more or my usual five card spread. I do believe that since it does peek into their individual feelings, it may answer more questions. But before I start, please do not forget that this is a celebrity tarot reading only. It is meant to be for entertainment. Please watch it with a grain of salt and remain logical. Okay, so the first three cards are going to be Manisha's, how her current energy is in this relationship. First of all, the sun. Before pulling this reading, I review my previous reading and in that reading, I did mention Manisha is the one that I felt has more of this fiery energy between the two of them. This is reflected here again in the sun. The sun in this deck is interesting because it is a drawing of two boys who are holding hands and playing together under the bright sun. They look basically identical to each other, so to me they are definitely more like siblings than anything else. This energy, I believe, reflects Manisha. She sees him as a good friend, a good brother. The passion is there, but it's more of a passion to create. I don't think it has changed much since last reading. Ace of Swords. Well, I don't think her feelings towards him change much since last reading. The combination between the Sun and Ace of Swords may represent a mental breakthrough for her. I think she wants something new. I don't know what is the biggest impact with her in relating to him, but I think she wants to let go of it. I'm going to guess that it must be the influence that their work has on them, how there are so many people loving them together. I am assuming it's because they have so many shippers, but of course there could be other things influencing her too. Her last card is Eight of Swords. With the three cards, I would say even though she thinks he is a great friend and that they work great together, she feels stuck. I don't know how the fan group is like for Manisha and Abhishek, but I'm sure when a couple is so loved, people would have different expectations for them and their relationship, even when it is not true. Though on one hand, this relationship helps their career because more people will pay attention to them. But on the other hand, it is like the invisible bondage. No matter how great two people feel about each other, outside forces could make or break them. Also, I'm saying this from a fan perspective, but I'm sure there are things going on in their mutual work or life that affects her as well. The next three cards will be how Abhishek is towards this relationship. The Three of Swords. You know, this is a stressful card. The connection from the get-go seems stressful for him. Though the image has a heart here, but this is a sword card. It has energies that belong to the thoughts. Whatever this relationship is or was like affected his mental health. Now, it doesn't mean he doesn't like her as a person. I don't think that's the case, but perhaps like her, he wants to be free. He wants to run away from the bondage. I'm saying that because our next car here is the Fool, representing a new beginning, a new journey. Perhaps that's what he hopes for, but I would say the Fool and the Sun are actually really similar. They both carry a youthful energy, energy of those who want to have fun. These two cards happen to be their personal major arcana as well. I believe no matter what happens, they can still be good friends in the end. For now though, I do think that he is ready to launch a new journey, especially since the first card is three of swords. This could be him hoping to have newer work opportunities or working with someone else, but it's a hope to move on, moving out from the initial stressful energy that he may feel with this relationship. King of Pentacles. I see that Abhishek is very goal and career driven, even in this relationship. I think he works together with her with his pure heart, though I feel like at times he's not totally good at dealing with the emotional aspects of things, but I do believe he treated her with respect and honesty. 
But again, this king indicates he is career driven and he may totally be focusing on his current work right now and treating it with total respect, just like how he was when he was working with her. I can see that overall they have a good relationship, but there are a lot of stressful energies surrounding them that they are trying to run away from. I'm going to pull a last card to summarize their relationship, what this relationship is like and how they are together. This is basically their relationship dynamic. And we have the moon. Well, the moon represents illusion, anxiety, misconception, and insecurity. It's not a good card in general for a relationship. Just looking at this picture alone, you see a barrier between the two characters here. If you hope for something more from them, I honestly don't see anything going to happen anytime soon. That's the end of this reading. Remember that tarot reading is based on energy and as the interpreter of these energies, I may not be 100% accurate. Please remember to be logical, have an open mind, and keep yourself grounded with the information. If you're interested in buying a reading from me, please check out my description for my contact information or visit my Etsy store, annabellatarot.etsy.com. I also accept payment and donations via PayPal. For pricing, please see my channel's description. Feel free to leave your request in the comments, but I will prioritize purchase readings and most popular requests that fit my interest. Interest. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day and see you next time.